Watch your bloody tongue. You, grab a practice sword. Okay. This one should do. I'll be sparring with you today. Oh. Remember, these blades are dulled, but a sword's still a sword. Good luck. I have angst. I have quick time events. Come on, keep at it. Well four. Get off me, you bloody ox. You got lucky. <lacht> er wird garantiert auch Grenzer. Das Pferd sollten wir auch streicheln. Denn, ne? Wir sind ja später sehr viel unterwegs mit einem Pferd. Ja, gut, ist Buddy. Gut. Was als nächstes? Die Fässer? Sollen wir bei den Fässern helfen? Helfen wir ihm. You there, recruit. Scrawny, aren't you? See if you can carry one of these barrels over to the witch. What's in it? It's pitch. Dump it off the wall and it'll burn the wildlings down to their fucking bones. Right. I can do this. Reizend. Want some help? Ach ja. Nein, wir beweisen uns jetzt. Ich weiß auch gar nicht mehr, wo ich da hinten soll mit. Aus dem Weg. Heiß und fettig. Finn. Das war nicht nett von dir. I'm thinking steward for you. You can help Frostfinger wash his cock. If the thing hasn't frozen off. I'll be a ranger. Just you watch. Not holding my breath, brother. Ich glaube, er tut nur so. Eigentlich ist er netter Kerl. You're pathetic. Fuck off. You didn't even try. A crossbow is a coward's weapon. Besides, I could hit that dummy from here with my... Where is it? Where the fuck's my knife? If someone has it, I'll cut their fucking balls off. Wir sagen mal nichts. Come to think of it, you were the last one I showed it to. Well, you and... It was you. What? You little fucking thief. It weren't me. Finn, don't. <gasps> Give me my knife. I don't have it, I swear. Out of my way. Got it. Do something. I fucking warned you. Ow. I won't say it again. Step the f up. <laughs> Fuck. Er hat angefangen. Hey, look. Fight! Fight! Wow, wie kleine Kinder. Okay, Schlägerei. Ich, ich, ich. 
Sei nicht so glitschig wie ein Aal. Mein Gott. Frostfinger. I need another man to top the wall. Fine. Let him freeze his balls off. I'll deal with this one. Get off! Oh! Mind your fucking manners. <laughs> you, yes. come with me. Oh, yeah. Gerne. <laughs> This way. I love King's Landing in the afternoon. The sun just barely kisses your skin. You used to love this place. Remember, we'd come listen to the musicians in the evening with Lady Marjorie. I have a lot on my mind lately. Just through here. What are you doing? You'll see. Queen Cersei's finest wine. You're going to get us both in trouble. Relax. Nobody will miss it, I assure you. A little won't hurt. Ich bleib nüchtern, danke. Suit yourself then. So, I uh Well, I just... I'm not very good at this sort of thing. Listen, if I tell you this, Mira, you must promise to keep it to yourself. You can tell no one. I want to trust you, but I need you to promise. Sarah, just tell me. All right, fine. Just please, keep it a secret. My mother was a handmaiden to Lady Elena for many years. She became pregnant. It was a disgrace to her family. My true name is Sarah Flowers. You're a bastard? Yes. I'm fortunate to be where I am, I know that. But to always have to hide. I don't want to hide from you as well. What of your father? Who is he? I don't know. My mother died not long after my birth. Who else knows about this? Lady Marjorie. Her grandmother. And now you. It's just... I don't want to be Sarah Flowers forever. I need Lady Marjorie to arrange a marriage for me. It's my chance at a life. A family of my own. Have you tried asking Lady Marjorie? It's not something I can simply ask for. I need her favor first. I know she often confides in you, and I was hoping that maybe... Sometime when she comes to you wanting to talk, you might... suggest she talk to me instead. Give me a chance to win her over. Coming from you, it's sure to mean a lot. Please, Mira. I can't make that promise, Sarah. You could if you wanted. It's not that difficult. 
Ich sag jetzt einfach mal nichts. I'm sorry. I know your family's troubles are much greater than mine. With what happened to your brother and your father. You sure you won't have any? You look like you could use a drink. Hmm. A conspiracy of handmaidens. <laughs> lord Tyrion, my lord. Ladies? What have we here? If you mean to drink from that flagon, you're going about it the wrong way. Care to join us, Lord Tyrion? Hmm. Not the finest arbor red, but a favorite of my sister's. Quite expensive for a handmaiden. I'd be curious to know how you got hold of it. Since I'm certain my sister didn't give it to you, ich werde she nicht won't share with me. Though that's hardly surprising. We we found it in that bush. Lord Tyrion. Strange it should find its way into a bush. <laughs> If Cersei knew you had this wine, she'd drown you in it. You must know what risks are worth taking. Especially if you wish to have an alliance with me. Things have changed. My father has recently taken an interest in Ironwood. Most of the Royal Navy went up in green flames. It must be rebuilt. He insisted I handle things myself. I'm on my way to meet representatives of Lord Whitehill. Lord Whitehill? He's hired a pair of merchant lords to broker for his house. It would seem Lord Whitehill wishes to sell the Ironwood right out from beneath your family. I don't know much about the man, but judging by his up-jumped sellswords, negotiating with him won't be pleasant. You can't trust Lord Whitehill. I don't intend to. Come with me. These men think I have no choice but to deal with them. Imagine their surprise when I bring a forester to the table. It might be the first fun I've had in months. Ah, oh, Tyrion. My lady. Du spielst Spielchen. Aber zu welchem Preis? We've been waiting here for an hour. Andros, be courteous. Courtesy in a merchant. Like finding gold in your chamber pot. Apologies, my lady. Who is this? Some girl you've brought for entertainment. She's a lady, Lord Andros. My name is Mira Forrester. Mira Forrester? Why are you here? A fair question. We were told we would be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. This is no place for a forester. Perhaps you should ask Lord Tyrion. I asked you. Andros. She's here for the same reason you are. Ironwood. I'm sorry, Lady Mira, but we've already spoken to Lord You Tim. spoke, I listened. Lady Mira has since persuaded me to consider her offer first. Now, if you'll excuse us... You're going to dismiss You can't us. do this! I assure you, I can. This is a mistake, my lord. I don't think so. Lord Whitehill will hear of this. He's not a man to take such matters lightly. Nor am I. <laughs> Lord Tyrion. Lord Tyrion, do let me know when you've come to a decision. I'd like the opportunity to change your mind. Lady Mira. Good day, gentlemen. Ah, well, that was fun. Now, as for your offer, what did you have in mind? My lord? The Crown's Ironwood. I assume you have a proposition? You had a reason for coming here. I know it wasn't just to entertain me. Help me stop the White Hills. Well, the quickest way to strangle your enemy is with his own purse strings. 
Say the Crown agrees to buy Ironwood solely from you. Lord Whitehill will be left in the cold. If he wishes to sell to the Crown, he'll have to do so through your family. You will have him at your mercy. Or you'll bring your houses to open war. You do know that's a possibility, don't you? If war comes, I know we will win. You have no shortage of confidence. Auch nicht an Naivität. I'll consider the arrangement. Of course, you'd have to do something for me in return. Don't no. worry. The terms will be fair. I need more than that. I'll have an answer for you soon enough. We have an understanding then. Thank you, my lord. This will either be very good for both of us, or very bad for you. For your sake, I hope it's the former. Das hoffe ich auch. My lady. Er ist ja ein hübscher. I know another way. You come in with us then. If you're to save your house, you'll need more than the two of us at your side. You'll need an army. That's why you're here, isn't it? To hire one. An army of cell sorts. And a man to lead them. Do you hear what I'm saying, boy? I can lead an army. I know you can. I've always known it. Your father was blind to that. None of that matters without sellswords to hire. And all the companies around here are engaged. What about Croft? One-eyed Croft, with the second sons. They're all with the Targaryen girl now. But Croft owes me a favor. I'm pretty sure he hates you, actually. No. He'll help us. I'll make sure of it. And how are you going to do that? You didn't part on the best of terms. I'll be charming. Right. <laughs> oh, ich hab da well, sein Gefühl. This mother of dragons and her cell swords are headed north. So we make for Marine. Wait, Marine? Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. We can't afford any distractions. It's not your problem. It'll be fine. I promise. It's fine. I trust you, Beska. I shouldn't have said anything. I said I was with you, little brother. And I meant it. Ponte Renas, Jung Kai Heronjos, Ibotagon Costoti Daor. Das werden wir sehen.
just one more we'll have to kill later. Let's go. You did well back there, Asher. You acted like a true leader. You two can talk about it later. We need to get out of here. They won't stop looking for us. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. I hope you're ready, Asher. It won't be easy. Just try to keep up, Uncle. Don't you worry about me. Either we cross the narrow sea with an army at our backs, or House Forrester will not survive to see winter. Warum habe ich die White Hills in Verdacht? Everything's still here. Fehlt da nicht eben noch eine Münze? The letters from my family. What would someone want with them? Information. Was someone going through my books? So, und jetzt gucken wir uns doch mal das Zettelchen an. Oder ist da noch was? Ein Kratzer? Why would someone do this? Da hat es jemand wohl sehr, sehr eilig, meine liebe Mira. I have information that will aid you with the imp. Meet me in the gardens at midnight. Freund oder Feind. There. <coughs> That should last through Lady Elena's visit, at least. There's been no news from Mira. She may not have found a way to help with Elena. We'll be fine, Mother. I pray you're right. Lord Glenmore's army could keep us from ruin. But Elena must still agree to the marriage. <coughs> My Lord. You might remind Lady Elena that in terms of lineage. You are still very much a man. Maester. What I mean is, if the two of you wanted to produce an heir... <laughs> Obstaveling question. Of, of course not. I just meant... Enough, Maester. When last we spoke of Elena, you seemed unsure how she might feel about you. You just have to show her that you're still the man she knew. I don't mean to burden you with unwanted advice. Thank you, Mother. This advice well taken. I'm just so glad to see you home. My lord, she's here. Jetzt bin ich mal gespannt. Roderick? You look. Welcome to Iron Ruff, Elena. It's good to see you. Where are my courtesies? 
It's good to see you too. Please. So, here we are. You look as beautiful as ever, Elena. Oh, thank you. I set out for Ironrath as soon as I heard you were alive. My father suggested I wait, but... I can't believe it's been two years. Your brother's name day feast. We danced until the sun came out. But now your house prepares for a funeral. And you... Tell me the truth, Roderick. How are you, really? And please, be honest with me. I don't mean to pry, but... I'm getting better every day. Might be a while before we dance again, though. I'm glad to hear you're recovering. So much has changed since we were children. Playing hide-and-seek in the grove and... You're so easy to find. You always hid behind the same tree. <laughs> Maybe I wanted you to find me. But Roderick... I, um... I need to ask you something. When I arrived at Ironrath today, your courtyard was filled with soldiers. White Hill soldiers. They seemed angry. Violent. They said... Some terrible things. The White Hills are your oldest enemies, Roderick. Why are they here? Has something happened? We weren't given a choice. Those soldiers are here at the orders of the Bolton. That's horrible. Bruce Bolton must mean to occupy Iron. No, he just wants to assure our loyalty. I'm going to be honest with you, Roderick. I have always looked forward to our marriage. Aber. But in light of all that's happened to your family... My father is questioning the wisdom of our betrothal. He wants me to call it off. And what do you want? I've been asking myself the same question. And frankly, I'm torn. I don't care about your scars, Roderick. I love the boy you were, and I can love the man you are. But my family can't get drawn into a war with the Boltons. They're the Wardens of the North. I know things may look bad, but I won't let our houses fall. I wish I could stand by you, Roderick, but I have to be practical. Lena. It doesn't matter how we feel. How can I ask my father to risk everything? Even for you. Because I love you, Elena. Roderick. I wish that was enough. I'm sorry. But I have to think of my family. I'm going to tell Father the betrothal is off. If it yeah. helps, we can delay the announcement. It'll give you time to get your affairs in order. Deepest apologies, my lord. I tried to stop him, but... So, the rumors are true. You have no right to justice. And if it isn't Elena Glenmore, you're not still marrying into this wretched family. My father has not yet made a decision. Well, for what it's worth, you can do much better than this cripple. What do you want, Whitehill? What do I want? Ask your mother. She invited me here. That's not true. I sent a raven to Lord Whitehill about letting Brian attend the funeral, but I never expected him to barge in like this. Oh, she practically begged me to come. Of course, I'd want the same in her position. The youngest son home to mourn his dead father and brother. If you've hurt Ryan in any way... Spare me the threats, Roderick. He's fine. I just want to be certain that you know your place. Lord Ramsay ordered your family to obey my soldiers until my son Griff arrives from Harrenhal. But now I hear you're ordering them around and refusing to feed them. 
It makes me start to question your obedience. Lud, enough of this. I do not have to obey. See? That's just the kind of arrogance I'm talking about. Sure. Here's the idea. We're going to make a fresh start, you and I. Your brother Ethan was a dismissive little shit. But you're a different man entirely, aren't you? So, if you want Ryan at that funeral, show Lady Elena you respect your betters. Kneel and kiss my shiny ring. Just do it, Roderick. You don't want to end up like your brother, do you? Please. It means nothing, and we'll get to see Ryan again. Fast for you, Lena. Get on your knees. Kiss it. Roderick, please. Subject, I'll need you to pay me a tribute. I'm taking what should have been mine in the first place. The other half of the Ironwood Forest. You can't Ramsey do that. Snow. Uh -uh. Show what Ramsey said. I'm saying something else. As of today, I harvest Ironwood from wherever the fuck I please. Hang on, bitte. And you can't do a bloody thing to stop me. Would you defy an express order from House Bolton? I've known Roose Bolton my whole life. As long as he gets his ironwood, he won't care. Especially when I tell him you've sworn to obey that me. That was a sign of respect, not an oath. Well, I have what I came for. I'll leave you to your business. By the way, my men have a name for you. Roderick the Ruined. Isn't that clever? So I missed Cat. I can't believe you would submit to him like that. I know you had your reasons, but... He doesn't deserve your obedience. I did it for Ryan. Maybe I'd have done the same. My lord, are you well? Seven fucking hours. <laughs> 